Hi, today is Wednesday, April 22nd, and I have Patch's litter out here. There's three girls and one little split face boy. They were born on March 26th, and they're six weeks old on May 7th, but we'll see if they start eating and drinking on their own, if they can go out a little early. I don't mind if they go early. Um, mom's wean at like four weeks, four and a half weeks old, and so there's a two week grace period there and as long as I see that they're eating and drinking for a week then I don't have a problem with it at all. Um, sometimes a younger hedgehog just needs a little bit more slow, what would you say, handling, babe? Yeah, gentle handling. Gentle handling because they're still learning that people are safe and you know these are formative weeks I guess I would say. So I'll start with, there's three girls and one boy, like I said. One of the girls is a blonde right here. Amazing how many blondes we've had recently, um, just because it's not a super common color. But, um, okay, hand the phone over to Ben. There you go. This one's real active. We marked her with a purple dot yesterday and then just really ultimately had to walk away from the video because we had an appointment showing up. But... Let's see here, if I can move slowly as to not startle her. Hello. There we go. It's okay. Huh. See, we start teaching her that forehead petting is it's a good thing. Hi. Hi there. Okay, there's our little purple one. We'll go to the little green girl. She's got a green dot on her butt. She's also a pinto. Her and her sister really look a lot alike as far as markings. I'm just gonna kind of start getting my thumb in here and do a little forehead petting. It kind of teaches them to put those quills back away from their eyes. The one just went over there oh. underneath the rock. She's already off exploring. I hold in these positions kind of for a couple of seconds too because I take the pictures right off the videos. Hi. Let's put you up high and see if we can get a face pick. <laughs> she kind of keeps that forehead tuckered right down, doesn't she? She's got a little dark nose. All right. Next one, I'll go with Blondie here. She's got a pink dot. So I'm going to do the first, the three sisters. She was our first explorer, so she was like out and about and she lets me go right in on her forehead a lot better. Right 
she just kind of just felt her in my hand going to a like super relaxed little melt mode like oh that feels good on my face okay that's how we learn trust huh okay and our little boy he doesn't have a dot on his butt because he's the only boy and his marking is on his face he is very cool looking He's got a very cool split face, but boy, he likes to hide it. And that's just a younger kind of a trait, too.